What? What, what, what? What the hell is this? Harumph, 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 harumph. I didn't get a harumph out of that guy. Give the governor harumph. Harumph. You watch your ass. I see you shiver with anticipation. Let the show begin. Hey everybody, this is David Heretic coming at you with another edition of Reactions, Reviews, and Rants. And tonight! Tonight! Okay, we're coming back to Stone Temple Pilots. Yes, indeed. Stone Temple Pilots fans, feeling you. Come on now. Here we go. This is a request from Nate Corning. And Nate wanted to see me react to this song by Stone Temple Pilots called Wicked Garden. Okay. Uh, have I heard the song before? I think so. I think I have. I'm not... Here's the thing. I'm not 100% sure. The name sounds familiar, but then again, I might be confusing it with Wicked Game. Maybe that's what I'm confusing it with. But the, regardless, the name's familiar. So, I might have heard the song before. I might not have. I don't know. I'll let you know, though. Like, if I... When I even start listening to this... If I hear it and I recognize it, I go, yeah, I recognize this song. I'll let you know. That's the truth. You know me. I'm going to be honest with you guys. Then again, I, this might be a song I've never heard before. I don't know. Only way to know is to listen to it and find out. Uh, this was posted by STP Live. So does that mean we're going to have a live recording? I don't know. We'll see. And the video has one million views. It'll get you there. Other than that, there's really nothing else left to say. Link to the original video will be down below in the video description for your viewing pleasure at your leisure. Let's get started. What do you say? Are you ready? Are you ready? Because here we go. All right, here we go. Stone Temple Pilots, Wiggy Garden, live Letterman. Oh, boy. This is on Letterman, which means... Wait, was this on, is this when Dave was on CBS or was this when he was still on NBC? I don't know. If it's NBC, I'm pretty much doomed. Uh, if it's on CBS, I have a chance. Um, Letterman's intellectual property is protected. Uh, it is protected pretty savagely by CBS, but honestly, uh, his material on NBC is far more protected. I don't know why that is, but... He was far more popular when he was on CBS, but NBC, man, they're savage. NBC Universal, they're savage. They are absolutely savage. So, I don't know. We'll see. Hopefully, this doesn't get blocked. Um, let's see if I recognize the song or not. We'll see here. All right, let's do this. All right, boy, let's do this. <laughs> Yeah, okay. Huh. Full disclosure, I have heard the song before. I don't know where I heard it, though. Uh, might have been on the radio. It, yeah, actually, you know what? I think I might have heard it at a hockey game. I think I might have heard it on a hockey game when someone went to the penalty box. I think I, think I heard this before. Okay, that's where I heard it. I, I know I've heard it before. That's without question. Uh, now I know for a fact I've heard this before. But I think I might have actually heard this at a hockey game. So, I don't know if I've heard the whole song, though. But I recognize that. I definitely recognize that. Um, but now that I think about it, I don't think I've heard the whole song. Because I'm, I'm trying to think what the rest of the song sounds like. And I don't remember. I remember that. I remember that line. I want to walk through your wicked garden. I remember that. But I don't remember pretty much anything else. 
We're going to have to kind of play this one by ear. Uh, this is weird. I, this has never happened before. Usually when I recognize the song, I've heard the whole song. I don't know if I've heard the whole song or not. This might, this might still be a reaction, technically, because I don't recognize the rest of the song. We'll see. We'll, we'll play it by ear. We'll play it by ear. We'll see what happens here. What I want, I want to run through your head, God So that's the place to find you. Cause I'm alive, I'm so alive, yeah. I know the time to find you. Can you be inside? Can you love? Can you cry? I want to drink from your name fountain. I can drown with sorrow. I'm gonna burn, burn you to life, yeah. Out of the chains of my head. Can you see the sky? Okay, I don't recognize that part, so I have not heard the whole song, so... I'm gonna go on a limb, and I'm gonna I'm gonna just say this is gonna be a reaction. Okay, we're just gonna go with that. Um, I like the chordal structure on this. It sounds good. It's flowing really well. Um, it's transitioning from line to line well, smooth. Nothing sounds awkward. Everything's being set up well. Um, the harmonies were a little weird. Um. And it wasn't it wasn't just pleasing. It just wasn't I don't know if that was the harmonies that I would do. I, I don't know. That that I don't know. I mean it did work. It did work, so I don't know. Uh let's keep going. Let's see where this goes. <laughs> I love the fact that I can hear the bass clear as day in the mix. And he has got a great groove going on. He's locked in with the drummer. Uh, and the drummer and the bass player are working together, granted. But I really feel like this, this song is being very much driven by the bass on this. I mean, the groove that he's playing, the line he's playing. Digging it. Absolutely digging it. Um, what key are we in here? A? Yeah, we're in A. Um, it's a straight ahead four four feel. I mean, there's nothing there's nothing fancy about that. It's it's about as straight ahead as you can get. Uh, we're in A. Kind of has that bluesy feel to it. Great groove. I love seeing the guitar player come over and interact with the bassist. It, it only took it only lasted for like two seconds, but you know what? Those two seconds were pretty cool. I'll take it. I will definitely take it. Um, let's keep going. Just like a child. Yeah. 
Okay, whatever that is, uh, fine. Uh, ah, wow. Um, hmm. Well, this was a ride, wasn't it? <laughs> First, I recognized the song, and I was like, "Wait a minute!" But I don't think I've heard the whole song. And then I started listening to more of it, and I was like, "I haven't heard this." <laughs> so I, it was. That's a weird moment where I thought I had heard it, and then it turns out no, I hadn't. That's a first. That's the first time that's happened on the channel, I think. Um. Let me think about it, and I'll see you in the review. We'll talk about it. Well, there you go, folks. That was Stone Temple Pilots with Wicked Garden. And this was a request from Nate Corning. Okay, um, I thought about it. I had to take a lot of things into consideration here. Uh, this was a weird one. This was the first time on the channel, I think, where I started to listen to a song, and I thought I recognized it, and I, I did... But then as I kept listening, I was like, wait a minute, I haven't heard that, and I haven't heard that, so I haven't heard the whole song before. So, I am taking the song into account here. I have to, because I only recognize, honestly, I only recognize like that, those like, that first verse. That was the only thing I really recognized. The rest of the song, didn't recognize it at all. Which leads me to suspect that I heard this at a hockey game, because that sounds about right. You'll get about 20 seconds to 30 seconds of a song while they're, you know, resetting or recentering, or they're putting a player in the in the sin bin or whatever, you know, they, it, or they're clearing the ice, whatever, they'll play like 20 to 30 seconds of a song, and I believe that's where I heard this from was from a hockey game. It would make sense because I only recognized, like I said, about 20 to 30 seconds. So I have a score, and I am taking the song into account here. On a scale of one to ten, I am going to give that a 7.5. Yep, 7.5. I feel good about that score. Let me tell you why. Why? Okay, um, the song is really good. I mean, that song is catchy. If for me to only hear a song a couple of times over the course of many hockey games, <laughs> uh, and to be able to recognize it based off of 20 to 30 seconds, that means that 20 to 30 seconds is catchy. It's got to be catchy. And it was. The song as a whole had a lot of catchy parts to it. It really did. V between the intro slash outro, it's pretty much the same thing. The verse, uh, what I think might be the chorus, I'm not 100% sure, but I believe it's the chorus. Uh, all of it has hooks. Now, what hooked me the most was the verse. That's what hooked me the most because that's what I've heard before. But I could hear hooks in other places throughout the song. So. Very smart, intelligent songwriting from a commercial standpoint. They wrote this song with hooks in multiple places. So I can get hooked by, for example, the verse. The verse is what hooked me, but the verse might not hook everybody. But the chorus might hook some other people. And if the chorus doesn't hook people and the verse doesn't, well, guess what? There's the intro and the outro, who are, which are also very hooky. That might hook other people. So, very intelligent songwriting from a marketing standpoint, okay? Very catchy tune. Tons of commercial value. Look, if they're playing this in a hockey arena, there has got to be commercial value. Because they're not going to just play songs that nobody recognizes. They're going to play the same 40 or 50 songs that every other sporting venue plays. So, this must be in there. So, which means it has a ton of commercial value and it's recognized by the NHL. So, <laughs> they're not going to, like I said, they can pick any songs they want. They picked this song, there must be a reason for it. Um, as far as the delivery goes on the song, everything sounded really good. Um, I love the fact that this song really felt bass driven. It really did. The bass line in this, the bass groove in this was thunderous i loved it i absolutely loved it i loved his tone uh his approach to this playing really nice job guitar felt more like a filler instrument on this except you know 
when it came to doing like the melodic lines that he did. But for the most part, guitar just kind of felt like filler, like the filler uh, that, that filled out the sound, especially within a chordal structure. That really kind of carried and filled out the sound. Uh, drumming felt good, really kind of kept the feel going on this song. No real deviations, no real play with feel. I didn't feel any, you know, double time or half time. It, it had just a nice steady groove, which is good. It's really good. Uh, the vocals on this, um, they sounded really good. I, 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 I don't know. I feel like I've heard him sing better, but I mean, this wasn't terrible. This wasn't bad, but I, I think I've, I think I have heard him sing better on a couple of the videos I've done, but, uh, it fit the mood and the tone of the song. So I, I can't really knock it. Um, yeah, I mean, it, overall it was a really good job, uh, on a really good song. The live performance was fun to watch. Um, the lead vocalist moving around the way he was moving. Loved seeing the interaction between the guitar player and the bass player. I saw that happen twice. Really happy to see it. Um, I think I saw the lead singer interact with the guitar player toward the end. That was cool. Um, yeah, I mean, I saw some interaction. When you're playing in front of a crowd in a, in a studio like that, it's a little tougher because the crowd, you're not up, number one, you're not up on a stage with the crowd beneath you, so you can't look down into the crowd. You're looking up into the crowd, which is kind of weird. It's like a bowl. Um, and you don't have the opportunity really to interact with that crowd because the crowd has to be quiet because they're interacting, because they're, they're filming. So you, you can't have the crowd cheering and screaming the whole time. It'll, it'll you know, overtake the mics and you can't hear the band worth anything. So it's a shame. Uh, you know, whenever you're playing in a television show like that, it, it's kind of a, it, it, it's kind of a bummer that that happens, but after the song's done, you heard the crowd, you know, and that was nice, so. No, look, overall, I do feel this was a really good job. I do feel it's a really good song, and that's why it's getting the really good score of 7.5. If you're not sure about that, take a look down below in the video description. You'll very clearly find my scoring system chart down there, and you will see that 7.0 to 7.9 is the grading scale for really good. This is right smack dab in the middle of the really goods, so. It's getting a really good start, a really good score, a solid, really good score. So, 7.5, final score, I have spoken. Well, that's going to do it for this edition of Reactions, Reviews, and Rants. Hope you all enjoyed the show. Hopefully, I was able to entertain you. If I was able to put a smile on your face and brighten your day, then I did my job, and I'm so glad I could do it. If you guys feel like joining the fan base, go ahead and click on that button down there. If you guys want to like the video, go ahead and like the video. If you guys want to click the bell, go ahead and click the bell. It honestly doesn't make any difference at all to me, but if you guys feel like doing these things, then by all means, feel free to do so. Well, that's going to do it for the night, folks. Thank you very much for watching, and as always, this is David Heretic signing off, reminding you to stay fabulous and support each other. Later. Peace.